Hi, Sabha. So, how are you? Uh, it's lovely to see you, and I, I'm really excited about our chat today. Hi, David. I'm excited to see you as well, and I'm honoured to be having this chat with you. As a start off, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, your family, where you live, and of course your hobbies? I currently reside in a township at the northeast of Johannesburg called Ivory Park in an informal settlement with my family of four. I'm currently doing science stream and when I grow up or when I'm done studying, I would like to become a biomedical engineer. And that is so because I love drawing and I also love medicine and engineering. When I heard about the Techno Girl program, I thought it was just so so amazing and so inspiring i'm so interested to hear to hear someone of your age talk the way you talk and also are so inspiring already about what you want to do and what you want to achieve in the future i want to i want to hear more Okay, so um, let me tell you first about the technical program. So it is a program for young girls. It encourages them to study um, um, careers in STEM. So from there, technical is able to help me find uh, my path. You know, they widened my career choices. They taught me a lot of skills as well. That's why I'm now sure of what I want to become. And I'm trying, I'm working so hard to achieve my dream. When I was your age, I, you know, I had role models and players that I looked up to or, you know, players that I wanted to become. What inspired you? And do you have any role models? Oh, yes, I do have role models. It's my mom and sister. You know, those are the two people that I live my everyday life with. You know, you can see the challenges that they go through each and every day and they're able to overcome them. I'm like, wow, okay, these people are really inspiring. Each and every challenge you go through together as a family, they overcome. And they inspire me to actually do more and become more of myself. What has inspired you to become an ambassador for UNICEF? And who are your role models? You know what inspired me? I was 17 years old and I was playing for Manchester United and I was on a trip in Thailand and I was asked to go to a women's centre in Thailand that UNICEF ran. And as soon as I went there, I was only, you know, I was 17 years old and I was so inspired by the work that UNICEF did and the work that UNICEF did around the world for, for children. It really inspired me, even at 17 years old. So... I knew then I wanted to work with UNICEF, but I never could imagine, you know, having the relationship that I have with UNICEF and having, you know, been ambassador for the amount of years that I've been. But it's because I enjoy it. It's because I enjoy being part of an organization that does so much for, for children around the world. I love, I love being part of that. Um, again, the, the, my role models have to be my parents. My parents are the ones that gave me the work ethic, that gave me the opportunity when I was very young to be able to play the game that I loved. They, they without doubt, are my role models. Um, and now, obviously, I have four children of my own, so I try to be a role model for them. I have three boys and a girl. My youngest, obviously, is my daughter. Um, and I hope that she gets inspired by science because... She loves it. She's interested in it. She's still obviously very young, but I know that often it has been something seen as more for boys. What reaction do you get when you tell people that you work in science and, and how interested you are about science? Every time you speak about um, um, STEM-related careers, not everybody believes you're going to eventually become that, and that's what I'm actually trying to overcome. I'm trying to overcome the challenges that society has put, has put for girls out there, that um, science is only for boys or for males rather than girls. It's just so inspiring to hear you talk about something that you're so passionate about, and I would love my children to come home one day and say, this is what I want to do. This is how I'm going to do it and just go ahead and do it like you've done. You know, obviously we're going through a difficult year this year and obviously COVID-19 has affected everyone around the world. How have you managed to continue your education and work? COVID-19 has affected me really negatively as well 
because I remember um, I tested positive for a virus a while back after opening schools. So I had to skip two full weeks from school to recover. And in that two weeks, I missed out on a lot of work. And now when I returned back to school, I had to catch up on school work. And then I also had to move along and learn what other kids were learning. That was a really tough time for me, I'm not going to lie. But thank, um, thankfully, I had the laptop that I got from the company I had um, job shadowed at with the Techno Girls. And then I was able to watch some YouTube videos, you know, to learn a lot of things. Um, I had PDFs on the laptop. I was able to actually teach myself and be able to also pass the exam at the same time. And I'm really thankful for that. I have a question for you as well. What is your idea of a reimagined future? I think that what one of the things that we um, are trying to do at UNICEF, and it's a big focus for us, is equal rights for for, for girls. Uh, mm -hmm. It's one of the focuses that we that we are we have started now over the last year. Um, that girls have the same opportunities as boys do, and I want to give girls the opportunity to have exactly the same guidance, the same help the same um, chances as what boys have around the world. And that's one of the things that I will fight for. What message would you tell girls like myself who are faced with um, social, political and financial challenges and they would like to also, they, they have a dream of pursuing a career in STEM. Why would you message me to them? I would, I would say believe in your dreams, believe in yourself, because there will be many people along the way that will say, you can't do this. Why are you doing this? I had it when I was your age. And I turned around to my teacher and said, when she asked me the question, what do you want to be when you're grown up? And I said, a footballer. And she said, no, come on. What do you want to do? What do you want to do as a real job? So yeah. you have to believe in yourself because you will come up against many obstacles. And those obstacles are meant to challenge you. That's why you have these challenges. It's why you come up against these things that where people tell you you can't do it. Always believe in yourself. Always have that drive that you have because at such a young age to have the drive that you have and to the, have the ambition is really incredible and it's inspiring. And you, you want to inspire future generations. And those future generations are daughters like my daughter. You know, it's young girls that are looking for inspiration from, from people like yourself. So believe in your dreams and, and don't listen to people that tell you that you can't do it because you can. One of the questions that I'd love to ask you is what would you like to see happen in the future? Human rights being um, equally recognised, you know, because where I live currently, people are... People are violating other people's rights. You know, the basic human rights, the, the basic human right to shelter and sanitation, but at the same time, we don't have that. We live in an area where you're going to find, like the environment is dirty itself, and we also don't live in, in houses that are okay. You know, the structures are really bad. When it's raining, it's flooding, there's always dirt. So I would like us to um, live in a society that acknowledges other people's human rights. Well, I think... With, with, with people like yourself and what you believe in and your passion and the example that you're setting, not just for girls, but for, for, for people in general, I think that it's incredibly inspiring to hear you talk, to hear everything that you want to achieve. And it's been a real honor talking to you and hearing your passion because if my little girl has half the amount of passion that you have and half the amount of drive that you have i'll be a very i'll be a very proud daddy it's so lovely to talk to you and, and good luck with everything i'm looking forward to seeing what you achieve in the future thank you thank you very much say hello to all of your family for me i will i'm sending my greetings to yours as well thank you thank you see you later